Hi everyone, so today I'm just going to film probably a shorter video about a sort of a anatomy topic of lower curves and plecos and this one is kind of people ask a lot, they say my fish is, is growing spikes, is there something wrong with it? And you also see people mention the word scales. So first I'm going to talk about the obvious uh, problem and this is a Teoplithes dosimanus I believe and this one is mummified, it wasn't, I didn't kill it, but it's just a good prop. It, um, I got given it when it was dead and I just taxidermied it. Um, they're quite easy to mummify and that's for one reason. These fish do not have scales. No catfish have scales and plex, specifically lower cards. Therefore, they don't have scales and these are clearly face scale-like structures. If I get it to sort of focus a bit and you can see these beautiful plates these are known as dermal plates and these are formed of bone and unlike scales, scales protrude from the skin I believe <laughs> it's a bit difficult to work out the difference instead on these guys the, the dermal plates actually are covered by the skin and it's really difficult I find with death the skin sort of goes quite quickly but you can see these the plating is quite obvious, especially when they're dead, but that holds their structure. It's kind of like an exoskeleton, I think. And they form they form several plates usually on the head, on some ge genera, so Ancestrus and um, Chetsoma or Ketostoma, that dermal plating is reduced here. So it's kind of like that area is soft, and on the abdomen, I'm not going to show his abdomen because it will really creep people out because of how badly it was tax damaged. But that is usually soft, or well, it is always soft, but there is a bone structure sort of running that way underneath. So that you can see that these are not scales, they're dermal plates. Um, I think, oh, what would the other words be? I, I can't quite remember. But that is the main, sort of, uh, one of the defining features of the family laurel cards and many other catfishes do have these dermal plates so Calicthidae, Corydorus, uh, Calicthes, Hoplostern and Megalitris they have dermal plating as well but other catfish a little bit more distantly related do um, such as um, so Platodorus and that's the only one coming to my head right now but a lot of them do have this dermal plating and this is a very rigid structure it makes them very difficult for predators to eat um, and it's kind of cool they do have a skeleton inside but fish's skeletons aren't quite like mammal skeletons they're a bit more complex but this dermal plating does form the skull of the fish as well which if you're trying to articulate skeletons I would dread to do it on these guys because of the amount of plating in here so the second question a lot of people ask is about uh, these spikes. These spikes are known as odontodes. Odontodes are external teeth. So if I get this to focus, the main one that a lot of people notice is here. And this is known as the gill opercula. The gill opercula, opercula means opening or doorway sort of thing. And this is where the gills will be placed underneath here. And often you will have large Donto, especially in Panax and genera like that, or even Barium Cistrus. Um, my video on Barium Cistrus shows quite impressive odontodes right here. And these ones are often in many species of vertebrae. Not all lower cards have them here. I believe Pseudorhinepsis or Rhinepidae, Rhinepidae, um, that's um, L95. They don't have these. All oh, just going to wait for it to actually see me. The so they don't have these on the gill opercula so much or is it not a bird but I can't quite remember but the whole body is covered in these dentine these um, odontos these external plates and then you also get on um, um, so odontos um, and also the external plates you also get kills the kills are these structures here really well shown in acanthus and um, pseudacanthus and that's just where these dermal plates sort of spike up a bit. But the dontos are covered throughout most of the fish. These are protection, they're spikes. Um, in males they tend to be larger, they can also be quite large at the 
if we look at here the pectoral fins so these are the side paired fins and in some species so latin cistrus um you could say and cistrus is tentacles because they're derived from it um they can be quite large on the head in some species and pseudolithosis I think it is where they are no not so do I can't quite remember sorry but there some species have very large odontos there and they're just external teeth um, I'm not sure whether they're formed of the same structure as dermal plates but I would assume maybe so that's sort of a quick sort of look at these so that the structure of the fish and what sort of defines it partially other than body shape and you can see this fish is a good example because it's dried and I don't have to worry too much but you can see the kills are these lines here on the dermal plates and there's odontodes just on the dermal plating which I assume they are of the same structure uh, just on these dermal plates sticking out as spines but anyway, thank you for watching. I hope I hope people. Oh, this camera is not focusing when I walk. There we go. Um, thank you for watching. If anyone has any questions about um, sort of anatomy of the law cards, anything about them, then I might make a video. Anyway, thank you for watching.